What's up everybody, it's Wayron here. Thank you again for coming back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be doing a 15 minute full body workout. Great for beginners, very low impact. And if this is your first time trying to break a sweat, then this is the right place for you. So let's get started with a couple of warm ups first. And we're gonna be starting with some star jumps or jumping jacks if you're from the US. Nothing high impact. Just to get the blood flowing. You don't want to get any cramps during our workout later. We've got five seconds on the clock before we move on to inchworms. And inchworms, this is one of my favorite warm ups. You're going to hinge at the hips, coming all the way down. Walk out with your arms, right foot to your right hand, and reach out. Feel that nice stretch. Right hand down, right foot back, left foot up, left hand, reach for the skies, and down. And then what you're going to do is walk yourself back up with your arms. Okay, next we're going to do skaters. So skaters is effectively skating on the spot. You're going to hop from your left to your right and the other foot behind, just like you're skating, except you're not moving anywhere. You're keeping in the same spot at all times. So 10 seconds on the clock. And then we're going to move on to squat punches. So this one, again, very similar. You're going to be in a squatting position and you're going to be punching right, left, right, left. So your right, left. You'll be firing up those legs using your quads, your hamstring, your glutes. Okay, and there's the end of our warm up. I think your heart is starting to rise now. We've got 20 seconds to just rest, get ready before we start our 15 minute workout. It's gonna be low impact, so don't worry about it. Just follow me and go along as I do, all right? So we've got 10 seconds on the clock and First up, we're going to be starting with knees to elbow. What, what it is is basically you're going to raise your leg, your knee to your elbow. That's it. So you keep your core tight, keep your body upright in a good posture. It's not about how quickly you can do this workout, but you're going to do it effectively using all of your core muscles. Knees to up. Just do it at your own pace and do it as high as you can. If you can't touch it, that's not a problem. But just try as best as you can. Okay, so 20 second rest and we're going back to skaters again. So exactly like the warm up, but this time you're gonna hold it for 40 seconds. So again, you're gonna hop from right to left, right to left. And go, 40 seconds on the clock. Just keep the momentum. You wanna fire off your right and left leg. Keeping a good balance at the end of your skating position. You're using not only your legs, but your core and your upper body to balance as well. So this is also a very good workout. It's like running on the spot essentially, if you don't really have a lot of space, but you can't go anywhere, especially during this time. Woo! All right, so another rest. Next one, we're gonna be doing some sit-ups. <clears throat> And what I'd like you guys to focus on is at the seat, sitting position, you're gonna put your hands on both legs and you're just gonna sit up until you touch your knees, back down, up, back down. And make sure you really focus on the breathing. 
Breathe out, S, you crunch. In as you sit down. Oh, really working the upper abdominal. Oh, and that's it. Next one, slow bicycle rows. So you're going to go back down on the floor. And for beginners, you're just going to put your leg up, up in the sky, keeping your back fully flat on the floor. And then you're just going to do some cycles, just like this. Keeping your core tight, keeping your back all the way down to the floor and just cycle, like you're just pedaling into the air. It's like an upside down bicycle, essentially. And these will really work your core. Again, if you can, keep your core tight and you work doubly as hard. That's it, just cycle. Ooh, I can really feel the burn. Oh. Oh. Uh. All right, so next is a half burpee, not a full one. What you're gonna do is there is a low impact version. We're just gonna go down on the floor, leg out and back up. Down, legs out and back up. All right, down on the floor, legs out, legs in and stand up, down, and up. Another version is, if you can, stay with me. Just hopping out, hopping back in, standing straight. Down, hop out, hop in, stand up straight. Hop out, hop in, stand up straight. Or the lower impact version, the stepping out, step in, stand up straight. Just keep moving, really. When we're done, we're done for this session. Woo! All right, next up, plank. There's two variations. So one is the traditional plank, where you're gonna go elbows to the floor, keeping your body in a straight position. The other, on the palm, or if this is still too hard, just go on your knees, that's fine. Just stay on your knees. I want you to stay in this position for the next 40 seconds. But if you can, stay in this, or the traditional plank. Just keep that core tight. This will not only work your core, your shoulders, your glutes, your quads, hamstring, your whole body. This is gonna work your whole body and it's really good, very effective. All you need to do is just hold it for another 10 seconds. And remember to breathe. Next up is a 20 second rest. And we're done, and we're done. All right, stay with me. Now we've got, so the same low impact burpee with a push up. So essentially what we're gonna do is, in three, two, one, we're gonna go down on the floor, legs out. If you can't do a push up in this position, then go on your knees and do a push up and then stand back up. Down, left, right, on your knees, push yourself, left, right, and up. Again, left, hands on the floor, left leg, right leg, on your knees, push, left leg, right leg, and stand up. Last one, last one. Left, out, right, out, on your knees, push, left, in, right, in, and stand up. That's it, that's it. 15 seconds to rest. Woo! Glute bridges, this is really good for the butt and really good for the lower back as well. You're gonna lie on the floor and you're basically just gonna thrust yourself up and just hold this position. Try and keep as straight of a line as you can, keeping your core tight, keeping your glutes tight, and that's the area that we wanna be working. 
So just holding this glute bridge for the X amount of seconds left on the clock. And let's treat this as an active rest. So we're working the body, but not as hard. So it gives us time to just calm down, calm the breathing down, and just remember to focus on the breathing. This is the most important. And we're done. Whew. See how quickly time passes when you're having fun. All right, so flutter kicks. So again, we're gonna go back on the floor. And this time, again, it's not about the speed. We're gonna raise both legs up. It's easier, the higher legs up to do flutter kicks. This is beginner mode. And if you can, if you think your core is strong enough, you can try and get both legs to go slightly lower down and maintain the flutter. So this is gonna be really tough, but make sure at all times you keep your lower back glued to the floor to avoid any injuries and to work your core as much as you can. So you can go back up. If at the lower position is a little bit too tough, and just hold that, just hold that until the timer rings. Oh, that's good. All right, so rear lunges and reach down. This should be fairly simple. What you're gonna do is basically, you're gonna do a rear lunge, at the same time reach down. So rear lunge, reach down. If you can't, it's okay to just do a regular rear lunge. If you can, try and do it with me. You're gonna do a lunge, and then reach down, lunge, and reach down, lunge. I'm gonna face this way. You can keep your other hand up in the air to give you some stability, but this is gonna work not only your legs, but also your core. Just keeping yourself in good stability, good form. And done. That wasn't too bad, was it? All right, so next one, two squat and four star jumps. So very simple, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, and let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Again, two squats. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. We're halfway there, come on. Two squats. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Well, come on, push as hard as you can. Whew. And that's it. Whew. Next one, shoulder taps. So we're gonna go back into a high plank position. High plank meaning hands straight. And we're gonna just do tap, tap. Try not to sway your body too much. Tap, tap. You're gonna tap from right shoulder to left. And you're just, just gonna keep Keep this momentum, keeping your core nice and tight. And not letting your body sway from like right to left. This is no good. This is not good position, not good posture. You wanna keep your core nice and tight, legs firm to the ground, hand as well. And just keep touching your shoulders. This is another good active rest. Almost there. And done, and done, that's it. Whew. So we're gonna stay on the floor. Next one's gonna be mountain climbers. So a low impact version, which is gonna go right, left, right, left. If you can, you may do a run, but if you can't, just stay with me. This is a low impact version of mountain climbers. You're just gonna go right, left as far up as you can 
and really contract and squeeze those abs. Very good for again for the shoulders, for the core, for your legs. And just keep with me. Remember, just focus on the breathing. We're almost there. 10 seconds on the clock. Come on, guys. We're not far off. Low impact. Ah! Woo! And we're done with that workout. Quick breather, take a quick sip of water if you need. Low impact high knees for the next one. So much like the first exercise we did, except you're not gonna go from elbow to knee. We're just gonna do this. Just this, it's like just walking on the spot, just going high knees. That's all. Keep this same momentum. If you're gonna move your arms, that's good as well. Just keep this momentum for the next 20 seconds. That's it. High knees, high knees. This, you'll be using your core, your legs, and if you focus on your breathing, it's really good for stamina. Just high knees, like you're just marching on the spot. And we're done. We've got our last workout of today. That's the last exercise, low star jumps. Instead of doing this, we're gonna be doing this. I almost forgot how to do it there. Eh? Basically, you're just gonna put your hands out in the middle from your chest and just keep in this position. It's just a slightly different variation from a normal star jump. But that's it. This is the last exercise of today. Just keep pushing. You're almost there. That's 15 minutes a day. Considered a high intensity workout but very low impact and great for first timers. You've got less than 10 seconds on the clock. Just keep going if you can, just speed it up. Oh. And we're done. Woo. Oh. That was tougher than I thought actually. Oh. But I think this workout is really great, really, really great for beginners. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of space as you can see I don't have anything around me not much space required you only need space enough to lie yourself down and that's all so a quick 15 minute workout in your day that's it so thank you very much again and I'll see you at the next one